This is a wired phone charger. And this is a wireless phone charger. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own little wireless charger setup, how they work, and how to connect it all up so that you can charge your phone without using a stupid cable. But wait, if you enjoy this type of content, quickly before we get into it, just do me a favor and like the video and subscribe to the channel to show your support. For us to be able to charge our phones, we need to transfer electricity from somewhere. Usually the way it goes is it comes from the city, then from the city it goes to your house, then from your house it goes to an outlet, then from an outlet to a phone charger cable, and then you can plug it into your phone, and boom, your phone will now charge. But what if you didn't want to use this cable? What if you have different types of phones that use different types of cables? You're going to be walking around with three, four different cables for every single device that you have. It's not very realistic. And not only cables break, but so do the little connectors in the bottom of devices. Or they get dirty, electricity doesn't flow, there's water. You'd always see kids in school with the Apple cable and then 14 rolls of tape around it, zip ties, all kinds of things just to try and keep it together. And while wireless charging existed for many years, it was about 2017 when they started getting implemented in phones. And as the name implies, wireless chargers allow you to charge your phone without using any wires. Now this is a wireless charging kit. In my case, I don't have to do any wiring or connecting up because everything is already built into the system. And this one specifically has some pretty cool features that I'm gonna to explain to you in a minute. Now, the way a wireless charger works is that it has a coil that creates an electromagnetic field when given electricity. Electricity comes from a wall outlet and then plugs in over here with a micro USB cable. Then this super smart device powers this coil, which creates an electromagnetic field. When you take your phone and you place it on top of that coil, there's another one inside your phone that transfers that electromagnetic energy from the coil here to the coil inside your phone. Then the coil inside your phone does the reverse process which turns it from an electromagnetic field into electricity and that's how you charge the battery inside your phone. All that without using any cables between the two devices. To me it's pretty crazy that we started off trying to figure out how to start fires and now for under $10 we can transfer electricity through air. Then with devices like this one it has some pretty cool features that allow you to figure out if there's a phone there or not. So when you have a phone that supports wireless charging and it's placed on top of the charger the two devices communicate with each other using a process called resonant inductive coupling. The charger detects the presence of a phone when it's put on top like this and then it manages the energy transferred from the charger to the phone and the two communicate by doing that we can adjust how much power is going to the phone to make sure that when the phone's fully charged you don't overheat or overcharge the phone's battery causing something bad to happen like a boom boom explosion and all that for the price of ten dollars for the demo, it's pretty straightforward because we don't have any code, wiring, you know, anything to do. We just plug it into a power outlet and then you'll see that the board will get powered. It's gonna flash a couple of different lights. In our case, red is just power from the wall outlet to the device. And then blue is if it detects a phone. Now I'm gonna take my iPhone, make sure the screen's closed and I'm just going to place it over the wireless charger. You can see the wireless charger is detecting a phone but it's flashing blue and it's not charging the phone. Oh, and I just heard a loud noise, which makes me think the electromagnet is working because it's kind of sticking to the phone. I don't know if you can see that. What if I do it like this? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was the right way. So this side is a sticker and that's going to be the side down. Let's just flip it like that. Boom. And now we can see the phone's being charged and the blue light turned on. So now if I left my phone here, it would just continue charging as normal. And then hopefully as my phone gets full, it would communicate to the board what's happening and then they can make adjustments on the go. And all that without using any cables. So if for some reason I needed my phone, I could just pull it off. Let's say I had another phone. Let's pretend this is an Android with the same technology inside. I just took my Android and I put it on top of my charger and then boom, now my Android is charging. I'm sure anybody who buys something like this is gonna want some cool way to display that what they have. They're not just gonna leave it out like this on their table and throw the phone on it once in a while like that. They want some cool, you know, case or thing to hold it. So I 3D printed a case and some little attachments to make my phone charger so that I can use it on my desk while I'm working. Pretty simple three piece. We have the back here where the phone's gonna go. We have a little baseboard for it to connect to. And then we have a little case to hold all the electronics. I don't know about you, but I'm super curious to see if it can go through one and a half millimeter plastic. Because if it can't do that, then we have a problem with using any other material. And it's super thin and fragile, so I can't really get thinner than that. First off, I'm just gonna put some glue in the middle here. And I'm just gonna push the phone charger right into it. Then I just made this little cap that the charger will go into and I can plug whatever I want in the back. So I'm just gonna put some glue in there. 
Just gonna put some glue around the border. That's a nice and tight fit. So now we have the charger in here and then everything against this little baseboard like back thing for the phone. Blue light, red light, perfect. Now let's see if it'll work with the case. Nice. Looks like it works. Actually works really quick. Perfect, so now all we need to do is put it in our little base over here. Let's uh, set it up like that and I'll just take my phone and Okay, that's not the best design, maybe. <laughs> okay, it definitely doesn't work. What if I just continue it to add weight? Ah, there we go. I can run it like that on my desk. Well, that's a short video, but this is just a quick demonstration on how to make your own kind of wireless charger and how they work. I've always been curious on how these things work that you could just transfer electricity from one place to another directly through air. Like there is nothing between my phone and this charger. It's quite an impressive piece of technology and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.